Just a couple of weeks ago, right before Christmas, just north of Miami, Florida, a fisherman took his father out for a birthday celebration out on the ocean. And there, they encountered one of the rarest animals they could have found in the Atlantic, that being a gray whale. Welcome back to Tea of the Sea, and gray whales are only found in the Pacific Ocean. There are two populations of Pacific gray whales. The East Pacific population along North America, which number around 14 to 15,000, and the West Coast population off Japan and Korea, which number just a couple of hundred, but their numbers are growing. And there used to be a third population in the Atlantic Ocean. We don't know what the total numbers of them were, but by the early 18th century, that population was extinct due to commercial whaling. So for the last couple hundred years, there have been no gray whales in the Atlantic, until very recently. Since 2010 or so, there have been a small handful of confirmed gray whale sightings, mainly in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea, including by Israel and as far south as Namibia. And now we have this recent sighting in December of last year, from Miami, Florida, where these two fishermen were. And gray whales being seen in the Atlantic is a very good sign, at least in my opinion. First off, it reestablishes the species in its former range in the North Atlantic, which is good for any species to reestablish its former range. Two, it's going to help take some stress off the current Pacific population. Gray whales in the Pacific, specifically the East Pacific population, have been in what we call an unusual mortality event since 2019. This UME has caused the East Pacific population to drop about 45% from around 30,000 to around 14 to 15,000 individuals. This UME has been driven by a lack of sustainable food stocks for the gray whales when they migrate north. The East Pacific gray whales migrate from Baja California from the several lagoons that they use to breed and give birth in, all the way up through the Aleutian Islands into the Bering Strait of Alaska. And over the last several years, as the planet has continued to warm up due to climate change that's been accelerated by human activity, their food stocks have been starting to get thrown out of whack. This has caused a lot of these gray whales to migrate south malnourished and unable to survive the fasting months of the winter season. But if we see gray whales appearing in the Atlantic, these have to be coming from that Pacific population, which means that they're entering an area that hasn't been touched by gray whales for hundreds of years, meaning there should be enough enough food to support a population and take some stress off the Pacific population. Although I do want to stress that this mass expansion into the Atlantic doesn't seem to be happening yet. This might just be the beginning of such an expansion with these several sightings we've seen over the last decade and a half. Now an expansion from the Pacific into the Atlantic is not unheard of for gray whales. Due to subfossil and genetic analysis, scientists have determined that this has happened several times, mostly before but at least one time after the last ice age. Normally, the Arctic Circle is enclosed by ice even in the summertime, enough to stop an expansion of gray whales from happening. But as the planet warms up and less ice is available to block their passage, we might start seeing more and more gray whales migrating into the Atlantic in the coming years. In fact, it's possible that we're starting to see another expansion begin to happen with these first few individuals showing up around the Mediterranean and now in Miami. And again, I think that is a fantastic thing if that does happen because it allows gray whales to reestablish their former range. But there are some concerns for me if this does happen. Specifically, the gray whales that will end up in the Atlantic don't know where to go, either in the summertime for food or in the wintertime to give birth. Most likely they will migrate south as their instinct demands of them, but they don't have any historical place where they could go in the Atlantic that they know of to give birth to those calves. Hopefully that would be a relatively quick remedy to happen. Hopefully they'd be able to find a spot maybe along Florida or the Gulf of Mexico or over in Africa that is capable of supporting a breeding population and location. So I don't think it would be a huge problem, but it would be an immediate concern starting off. 
Of course, we aren't even entirely sure if an expansion from the Pacific into the Atlantic is beginning. It just looks like the stage is set for such an expansion to happen. We're not entirely sure yet. I am of the hope that it does because I want the population to reestablish its former range. But for now, we're just going to have to wait and see and keep our fingers crossed.